Hello, welcome back. Last time I did a super nifty ice puzzle here that I enjoyed quite a lot. To my surprise, two people have actually told me that they, uh, they solved this by exiting to the left, which, looking at it, seems just absolutely what impossible to me. Because this space is too small for fish. So this would have to move out of the way. Like, that's way up there. There's no way you could, like, latch something in there and lift it. So you'd have to get ice from over there and push up, I guess? That's the only way I could imagine doing that, but... who? <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to do that, because, like, that seems way more impossible than what I did, but I don't know. <laughs> Apparently I did it the hard way, because I got the starfish. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the puzzle I'm doing. Lasers. It's actually the only new one that's open to Wait! me. Wait! Please don't move me into that beam. It is a laser made of pure antimatter. What? Then it's not really a laser, is it, Flounder? Yeah, lasers aren't made Regardless, of... Regardless, <laughs> it is an example of deadly alien technology, and the only way we can safely pass is to use objects in the room to block off the beams. Neat. So Guppy said not to move her into the beam. I'm going to do it with Flounder and see what happens. Hmm. Let me try that again. <laughs> All right. She only died because he fell on her. Uh, okay. All right, so laser tutorial... All right, so you're up there now. However, all the good that does me. Uh, wait, what? Oh, right, I can do this. Flounder. Well, I can do that if I do that. Sure. Well, that's one beam down. I guess what I want to do is this. This is a tutorial puzzle. I'm going to have way Two more. Down trouble with it than I should have with a tutorial, as usual. Why would the aliens guard this room with laser beams and then give us so many objects to block them with? They're very nice aliens. They're polite to their guests. Uh, how do I handle this? Like this. I push that over, then this can be the block for that. Sure. All right, so no problems yet. Obviously, I have to do that. Now, this is going to cause death. So, obviously, what I actually do is get him out of the way. And do this. Laser shooter can move. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> uh... Okay. Now what? Now it seems like I've gotten myself st Oh no, there's a starfish. Of course there's a starfish. Uh, what's going wrong here? I'm out of options. Well, that wasn't so bad. Wait, what? Yes, we can get out now. Or we... Oh, the laser is coming out of this. Okay, right, I can see the particles off of them. Mm -hmm. Well, that wasn't so bad. Yes, we can get out now. Or we can get the starfish. It's up to you. That's probably not too bad to get, I would imagine. Because, like, all I gotta do... No, I'm gonna do this, obviously. Wait, okay, so that's shot from up there, which means I would need... Yeah, I feel like this is not gonna be so bad. So if you go over there, then you do this, and then you push... That's gonna laser her on the way down, isn't it? Yes. That's exactly the sort of thing we were warning you about. <laughs> Don't make any fried fish sticks jokes. They aren't funny. <laughs> I've heard enough of them already. Uh, okay, so she needs protection from her right as that happens. How will that work? Isn't it a bit work? odd that the beams kill us, but don't seem to harm the starfish? That's because the starfish is a game mechanic and not a character <laughs> like we are. So what you are saying... Is that the starfish is a fundamentally different life form? She has no response to that. <laughs> uh, I can't do this. Not again. Hmm. There's an extra one of those, but I can't really get it out. I'm not sure what it's for, other than just being a platform so she can get under that more easily. Think about it, Guppy. What do we I do really this. know about the starfish? They oh, just that's smile exactly what I do. and twirl. 
alien death rays pass right through them, leaving them unharmed. And the name, Starfish. Fish from the stars. Fish from the stars. <laughs> I think the aliens sent them here to watch us. Are you going to help me get the starfish or not? Because if you're just going to talk, I can leave right now. <laughs> this game has amazing writing, by oh, the way. that was tricky. Good job. Nah, that was easy. That was like the easiest starfish in the game. I mean, not the easiest, easiest, but like one of the easiest. Oh, that reminds me. Well, we've learned how to deal with laser beams. There's a thing I want to do real quick. And we've got another starfish. I say we interrogate it. See what it knows about the aliens. They don't talk much. They're game mechanics, not characters, remember? <laughs> There's a thing I want to do here. I think, if I remember from this puzzle, yeah, I've seen this already, uh, there was a like a free well, starfish Crab. at the very beginning, then everybody can just leave. Watch. Huh. Hey, look, I got a starfish. That was easy. <laughs> And now I have one more. Colt goes up there, everybody else goes to the right. <laughs> that was fun. Let's go back and play it again. We will eventually. <laughs> so there's basically a free starfish there that I can just claim anytime. Uh, so I can get the starfish bonus for that. Uh, I'll have to come back for the rest later. New tuna pictures. New two pictures. Uh, those are videos. Alright, picture time. Oh boy. I see a king crab painting. Uh, I think I see a couple of king crab paintings, possibly. Or maybe this is like a statue. Right, king crab with his really weird knees. These started together. These started together. It's giving me free puzzle pieces. Or, like, puzzle solution stuff, you know. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, okay, so that goes there. Lamp. Are you a lamp? What are you? You're... I don't know what you are, actually. Alright, getting somewhere. I don't see the top of this painting anywhere, so I think that's probably... I do see text, though. That's probably... Uh, something. It's probably at the top of the the picture. <laughs> Those words really did not want to come out of my mouth for some reason. <laughs> Alright, you gotta go somewhere, right? Wait. Okay, you must go there. I see. Mm -hmm. You look like a little bit of text. Oh, I guess you are. You're this little bit of text. Mm-hmm. All right. Where's the rest of the text? Kind of hides in the in the in the boundary, and I really cannot see where this bit is. That should be the most obvious one, shouldn't it? Dragon, you're out to build a picture. I see this goes here, so you you need to move. Um, I'm gonna have to break something up. I guess I'll break. The, ah, really? <sighs> that is unfortunate. <sighs> the X fillets too. And where was the one I was moving this? Oh, but the... Fine. Wait, how did this... Why was that? That needs to go... Huh? Like, I see this. This is a bit of text. That's the... That's not the T. What is that? What could that be? That couldn't be anything. Yeah, I, I know how to do this. Why are you telling me again? I don't need that prompt. Okay, there's the X. That's clearly floor, so I guess I'm going to have to break that. Yeah, that's lower right. Okay, that's fine. Where do your other pieces go? Uh, okay. Okay. That plant... I still don't know, like what this is where this puzzle takes place exactly uh, does that go? that doesn't go there does that go? that goes there so like there's, there's floor stuff oh I don't have the that part of the T that can't be it can it? 
I don't think so. It is, though. Okay, so it's just a very narrow little thing on top of the T. All right, so this goes here. There we go. All right, so that's that's the entire lower portion. Well, not the entire, but uh, mumble, mumble, mumble. <laughs> it's hard to comment during these puzzles. There's not that much to say, really. So, you're a table leg. Alright, so there's an ashtray. I know that much. I feel like I've seen the um, the lower uh, lower right portion of this, haven't I? Oh no, the lower, that's, that's what I was looking for. Mm. That feels like about the right place, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's King Crab himself. So he's in his... I wasn't sure if it was actually him or a statue or something. The rest of this is just nonsense. Like, none of this looks like anything. There's a plant. Can I find other bits of the plant? I sure don't see any other bits of the plant. Uh... Do those go together? They do. Other bits of crab? I don't... This is all just... Okay, so that's distinctive. Nothing else is, though. Uh... Like, what is this? Is this, this is, this must be part of the night. Plant, you're not getting me anywhere. That's a lamp clearly at the top. Uh, let's work on this curtain-y thing, I guess. Cause like, that's, kinda looks like something, maybe. Uh. Which side would you be on? Okay, so here, and that's not what that is. Uh. Yeah, this just looks like so much nothing. <laughs> and I've put this guy together so many times, I'm tired of doing it. Problem is, if he's in the wrong place, I'll have to take him apart again. Like, why can't I see your legs? Are those your legs? Those are your legs. I found them. So that's the arm of a chair, but this this looks like the other side of it, but that's not that's not what that is, somehow. Uh. Where does a plant go? What is is that? That's part of the lamp, yes. Okay. I mean that clearly goes on top. This looks like a continuation of this curtain, but it isn't. Unless that joins alright, so just do that. Um Does that join here? There we go. Okay, so right, that's part of the painting. Alright, so I think you go actually, like, there-ish. Just break. Just break. Just break. Just break. Break apart. There we go. Really? There we go, finally. <laughs> this one's giving me some trouble. That is part of his chair. Okay. Uh, so that's not where that goes. Where does it go? Not there. There we go. The plant must be... Oh, plant is here. You have a nice office, Mr. Crab. Maybe a little narcissistic. <laughs> but hey, a little bit of narcissism never hurt anybody. He sure is into himself. Uh, okay, so what are what the heck are you? Where do you go? Not over, th not oh, way up in the corner. I see. Uh, that's his chair. That's the rest of that. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, hui. <laughs> he has a goatee. I never really noticed before. Didn't look closely at his face. Hmm. Uh, left click to return. I left clicked. It didn't return. That's Colt. I recognize those eyes. 
he does have two eyes. <laughs> I looked at his turnaround animation uh, slowly. It just... The lighting is funny with it, so it looks like he has only one eye when it happens. This puzzle looks much more doable. That looks like a lower left sort of thing, maybe? Uh, what part of your body is that? What part of your body is... Okay, so that's what that is. Oh, that's your cheek. Mm -hmm. That looks like it's going to be lower right, I think. Because I can see... Um, I can see that I want to do this. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of muddy water in here. That's not going to be fun to assemble. How do you join up? Just just find a way to join up. Okay, so that, that joined. There we go. Uh, well, this dark mossy stone is pretty distinctive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. That's what he's hiding behind. Those don't join? Really? Hmm. Okay, that goes there. Where could... Oh, here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Got a left half. Now I just have to sort this mess. I actually enjoy this kind of puzzle in real life a fair bit. I don't do it very often. It's kind of... This is an activity that I usually do with my parents whenever I see them. I'll often have a puzzle out on the table, so I kind of associate them with that sort of thing. Just a pleasant, quiet activity. If you want something to do with your hands and eyes while you're with other people to fill in the gaps, it's nice. <laughs> okay, puzzle done. That one wasn't so bad. Cool. All right, uh, let's at least look at radioactivity. Careful, Guppy. I think some objects in this room could be slightly radioactive. Slightly. Which things? The things that are glowing green? <laughs> Precisely. So, touch him and I die? Oh, so that's what you meant by slightly radioactive. <laughs> if you move us next to a radioactive object, it kills us. Well, that's unpleasant. Careful, Guppy. I think some objects in this... So, this is how you make... Guppy is only mm -hmm. next to the corner of that radioactive container. She is still safe. I know that. How are you ever going to get through the... Oh, like this. I see. So the vase is a pushing tool. So a bunch of new mechanics being introduced here. This is a sequence of tutorial puzzles. I get the nice music here. Uh, so I need to clear... So Oh, dear. This is... Ugh. Things are going to get unpleasant. <laughs> That's my prediction. This is why Ouch. I think we should dispose of nuclear waste way high up on the land. Mm, that's fair. Gotta put it somewhere, I guess. Uh, that does not... Well, while that doesn't clear enough... Well, oh shoot. Um, I can't lift that. Oh, that does clear enough space for her to push. Okay. Well, this is straightforward. Uh, you're going to have to push that a little bit so he can get to safety. Okay. Does it kill if it just passes over like this? I don't... This is why I Yes. Think we the answer is yes. Okay. I don't think... Shoot. Good to know. So at any point, not just when it's fully settled. Uh, right. I see how to do this. Human eyeball. Totally safe. Reptilian eyeball. Danger. Guppy, I'm beginning to suspect that this alien spacecraft may be dangerous. You don't say. 
<laughs> All right, so that's the alien mechanics, huh? Reactor or Squiddy? Let's go Squiddy. Good day, miss. We're with the FIN. I'm Agent Flounder. This is my partner, Agent Guppy. Hello. Do you mind if we ask you a few questions? <laughs> Guppy, something tells me that getting information out of the suspect will be problematic. Is she your suspect? <laughs> uh, King Crab's here for some reason. What can he do? He's just stuck there until I rescue him. Uh, it's gonna have to be him. Oh, Virgil's here too. I just noticed. All right, so crabs are. I don't think you should have done that, Guppy. Yeah, I agree. Why That's not? a problem. I thought I was playing the bad cop this time. <laughs> yes, but now how am I going to get out? <laughs> oh right, I'm sorry. All right, so don't do that. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I see. Write that down, Guppy. Boodle boodle. Uh, <laughs> this game is silly. Uh, this, that doesn't accomplish anything. Do I need... Well, I, I can do this if I want. Alright, so it looks like the goal is to get something in this hole. Something that's no more than one tall. Uh, which something might that be? And no more than two wide. This is the only object that fits that description. So Virgil, you you have a job right here. Uh, King Crab, I assume, is killed by lasers the same way that anybody is. So he has a major... Well, no, that's the only way down there. Can I get down there and test this? Because I'm going to see. Uh, I can't. can't do much of anything here. What is what is the idea? Uh-huh. That's not very useful. What am I trying to do? Virgil, if you move what happens? Some stuff falls, that's about it. Uh you can do this if you want. Why would I care? Uh, Virgil can't directly help King Crab. I think he's going to have to do it indirectly somehow, though, or s something. What is this? <laughs> uh, what do I do? That's not very productive. Okay, so I can do this if I want. Why would I want that? Oh, I see why I would want that. Not again. No, stop, stop that. I would want that because that lets me pull this over, but why would I want that? I don't know yet. I gotta get through those lasers somehow. If I can do that at all, I can get the starfish trivially. Maybe that's not what I'm actually trying to do, though. But Virgil's gotta get up here, which means the fish is gonna have to be down here. Because, huh. yeah, that's definitely the only way out for Flounder. Other characters have other options, but this is his only one. Am I mistaken that I have to put Virgil here? Nothing else has such a shape that would allow it to go there and push that out of the way. So no, Virgil's got to go there. So I have to I have to boost him up here somehow, or he has to get up here in, of his own power somehow, or something, but... Okay, so I do see one thing. Uh, the thing I see is if this drops, then... Guppy can use this as a one-sided laser shield, but that's only one side. I gotta get something on the other side, too, for this. Uh, got nothing that can do it, though, really. I'm gonna try something. Do lasers kill crabs? Virgil! Virgil, what'd you do that for? Uh, yes. Yes, he's dead. 
<laughs> I couldn't tell if he had exited or he was dead, but his... Well, yeah, it said backspace to undo, so yes, he died. Um... What'd you do that for? <laughs> Cappy, Cappy, what'd you do that for? <laughs> uh... Can Kid Crab do something? I don't think so. No, no, he's trapped. Hmm. Did I... Did I lose an object I needed? Yeah. I... Huh. Was I supposed to do something with... I, I don't have anything shaped like... Like what that would need to be shaped like. So obviously I'm still missing something. I mean, I... Have you ever abducted any crabs, miss? <laughs> Alright, I don't even see a way to begin approaching this, so let me just spend some time staring at it and poking at it and see what I come up with. So I noticed that Virgil can do some interesting stuff here at the very beginning. If he goes left first and then pushes that like that, that's seemingly better than just going to the right and Agent wasting all Virgil those objects. Crab to the rescue! Rescue. You crawl, crab. Yeah, you crawl. <laughs> uh, who are you rescuing how exactly? You say to the rescue, I could push this over and get crushed by the pipe. I could go down here and get zapped by the laser. I could... This doesn't really do anything if I go down here, right? It doesn't, doesn't seem like it. Um... I can use this to push that upward, I guess, slightly, but I don't know why I would want that. None of that helps me block this laser uh, to help get Guppy through. This object would be nice for that, but I already need a fish down here to possibly get that into this position. Uh, Virgil can get over there. Oh, I can drop things down to help him climb up this way, I guess. Okay. So for some reason all this is possible, like I can go down there, I can even go all the way down here, and he can still get back up. So why is that set up to be that way? Alright, so, Virgil. Um, Agent Virgil Crab to the, to the rescue. rescue! You crawl, Crab. Yeah, you crawl. How did I get this object out? I guess like, I guess like this. All right, Virgil, what do you need? Uh, I guess it'd probably be good to give him this thing. That would kill her, though. Um, all right, so he got one thing there. I could put that down there, too. You got to kind of needs it as a shield, doesn't she? Well, it's not like that would really help anything. Hmm. I mean, okay, fine. Since I don't, I don't see how to use that exactly. I'll do this. Uh, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Uh, this might. No, I think I've screwed up. Maybe if I do this. Here we go. Right, so you can crawl up there. Oh, no, you can't, because that can't be elevated at all, ever. So everything I was doing there was pointless. Huh, well, that's a good feeling. <laughs> uh, Are you aware of the penalty for interfering with an FIN investigation? <laughs> I think that's a no. Um, or an I don't care about that sort of thing. All right, so what if I do this instead? Ooh, you, get out of there first. So that lets me, I think, rescue King Crab. Neat. Uh-oh, Agent Virgil has fallen into a diabolical alien trap. That seems true. I don't think you can get through there now, can you? Yeah, you stuck. 
Uh, right? Yeah, you stuck. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Do I, do I want another pushing tool for this or something? Uh-oh! Agent Virgil has fallen into a diabolical Shh. alien... Uh, King Crab, do you die if you do this? Oh, dear! He sure does. There's not a lot that can kill him. I can't really well, see his skeleton. I think that was the right move. Because <laughs> it just falls off of there real quick. So wait, how does he exit? Does he have to be somehow lifted up here? I mean, as soon as I get fish in here, the starfish is free. As far as I can see now. Agent Virgil is trapped. Uh, King Crab can't get out without... Hi. Uh, okay, so this is going to be a complicated puzzle. I don't know how to interact with any of these objects at this point. There's this pipe here, which doesn't have a way to move it. Seems like King... Oh, if King Crab came in here and pushed that, he's got to get through here and then somehow get under this. So this has to go down and back up? That sounds impossible. Unless Flounder's down here. This is a tough one, huh? Yep, sure is. I guess I'm going to have to come back to it another day. And hey, look at this. That is, no, that is not the only puzzle I have access to. I can go to Reactor. All right, if this seems too tough, I'll go to Reactor next. But I'll probably play with this a little more, because I was still making progress. Just need to kind of take a break and sit on that for a minute. All right, uh, see you next time to see if I can figure out what to do with this thing.